This is a quick demonstration of how to identify and fix the critical vulnerability CVE 2017-1905 uh, using uh, Nexus lifecycle. By now, everyone's uh, well aware of the events that happened at Equifax uh, recently. They have their roots uh, at the beginning of March when a new vulnerability was discovered in the Apache 2 Struts framework with uh, immediate availability of exploit code out in the wild. The project reacted very quickly. Within three days, they'd re released a fix uh, and publicized an advisory on the attack designating it CVE 2017-5638. Moving forward in time, at the end of July, Equifax internally discovers uh, the vulnerability uh, being exploited um, internally. The report suggested that uh, unauthorized access to the um, information started all the way back in early May. This gives us a, a window of about two months from the uh, fix being out on, uh, on the Apache Struts framework to the attacks commencing uh, internally. On the September 7th, just the day before Equifax publicly disclosed this, uh, this attack, um, a new remote code execution vulnerability was discovered in the REST uh, plugin um, of, Apache Struts, um, of the Apache Struts framework. This was designated CVE 2017-1905. I'm going to give you a quick demonstration on how uh, customers of Nexus Lifecycle have, uh, uh, have been notified and uh, have been able to react from day one of this vulnerability coming out. Thanks to the powerful continuous monitoring capabilities uh, embedded in Nexus Lifecycle, um, every, every application that has previously been scanned with the tool um, can automatically be, ter be uh, put under continuous monitoring. Once a day, the tool will refresh the data um, uh, of the latest scans and uh, alert you uh, on any new discoveries. Any, any new discoveries that have been made immediately result in an email notification that show, um, show which applications have the uh, vulnerabilities in them and provide you a little bit of detail about what the issue is. Finding out which applications are affected um, uh, with this uh, particular component is um, relatively easy. Thanks to the uh, powerful reporting capabilities of Nexus Lifecycle, uh, we can actually drill down and investigate every single application that has uh, this known bad component and, uh, with this vulnerability and instantly see a list of, of all the affected applications. We can also see when was, the, uh, when was the application scanned and what potential outcomes did that scan actually uh, uh, contain. We can move into the uh, Bill of Materials report to quickly and easily investigate the magnitude of the vulnerability and try to discover where the um, uh, uh, vulnerability actually sits and what the potential implications of this vulnerability are. We can drill down into the component, get a list of vulnerabilities and quickly identify what kind of an issue this vulnerability has. Nexus Lifecycle gives you powerful information about what the vulnerability is, gives you a detailed explanation of how the vulnerability uh, affects uh, your application. Uh, and finally, we uh, give you recommendations on how to fix this. Well, in this case, uh, recommending, we recommend upgrading to a version of this component that is not vulnerable. So let's switch to a developer perspective and see how a developer work react. Now, of course, uh, of course, uh, the developers uh, would get these email alerts as well. But thanks to the powerful plugins, uh, plugin uh, that we've developed for various different IDEs, developers can see uh, these vulnerabilities directly in line within their applications. So. I'm a developer working on a Struts application, and it seems like I have uh, I have this uh, vulnerable component embedded into my uh, into my application space. It seems like this particular component is a part of my application, and I can quickly and easily identify which versions are vulnerable thanks to the um, slider graph on the right hand side. This graph shows me every version available of this uh, particular uh, subcomponent of Apache Struts. And as you can see, no other components in, in the Struts framework are implicated, only the vulnerable component itself. Well, the recommendation was to find a better version. So I can actually use this as an active graph to try, try and identify uh, better components that are out there. Well, it seems uh, that 2.5.13 seems to fare a lot better than the uh, version 2.5.12 that I'm using today. 
So let's start off uh, remediating this. Here I am in my uh, version control environment. So let us uh, start by creating a new branch for this fix. Uh, let me just check out uh, to this uh, hotfix struts. And now let's uh, use the uh, plugins capability to automatically migrate this component, uh, uh, this component um, in my class path. As you can see, uh, after ex executing the um, uh, uh, migration, the vulnerability, the application is automatically uh, re-updated and the component is now marked uh, um, OK. If we go back into my version control, we can see that um, the um, uh, project uh, POM file has automatically been modified. So let's go ahead and add this and commit it to our version control. Fix CVE 2017. Executing this push automatically triggers a uh, a, um, a remediation work for a, a pull request in my uh, repository. In the meanwhile, um, uh, the IQ server has also automatically opened up um, a new ticket uh, ready for uh, development in my um, uh, IQ server in my uh, Jira uh, backlog. So as a developer, I can go here and I can see that my product owner has already assigned a ticket for me uh, about the same issue. In fact, this is another route that I can use to access the detailed report. Well, in this case, um, this uh, vulnerability is now in progress. Let's go ahead and look at our Git repo. Well, it seems like uh, my push has already been put there. So let us open a pull request and see uh, how it fares up uh, against our tests. The branch uh, is being checked currently uh, thanks to our uh, continuous integration um, uh, uh, integration. So um, this check it sends a push request uh, to my uh, to my um, continuous integration server, which should kick off a continuous integration build uh, any moment now. As we can see, uh, the continuous integration uh, build has now triggered and seems to be running. And clicking this will actually allow us to access um, the continuous integration build and we can see that the build itself has been completed successfully um, so there are no technical uh, issues with the vulnerability and currently what is happening is our uh, lifecycle tool is evaluating all of the different dependencies that are uh, uh, that have been embedded in this particular uh, application as we can see uh, as we can see here uh, it evaluates every single dependency that has been pushed in in this particular pull request and we can see um, We should be seeing the um, evaluation completing successfully any minute now And the build is successful and this means uh, the uh, change uh, seems to have uh, been a positive one and there are no conf conflicts within the base branch. We can always access uh, the details of the uh, lifecycle evaluation by, uh, by accessing the link provided here um, uh, at the bottom, uh, giving us uh, uh, another bill of materials report that describes what actually was found in this particular build. Well, in this case, we can go ahead and remediate the issue, issue and merge the pull request. Perfect. So, as you can see, uh, this was a quick demonstration on how uh, easy it is to fix uh, critical vulnerabilities as soon as they're discovered with the power of Nexus lifecycle. 